Remainder with 100 is about the last two digits. So eventually we have to find the last two digits of 11 raised to power 122. 11 raised to power 1 is 11. 11 square is 121. So the last two digits are 21. 11 cube, the last two digits will be 21 into 11. That would be 31. 21 into 11 is 231. So the last two digits are 31. And then 31 into 11, 41. 341, 41 into 11, 451. So 51. And then 561, so 61. So see you are finding a pattern 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91 and then 01. And then again 01 into 11 will be 11. So we are seeing that after every 10 the powers will keep increasing but the last two digits will remain the same. 11 raised to power 1 has the last two digits 11. 11 raised to power 11 will also have the last two, digit, two digits as 11. 11 raised to power 21, 31, 41, 51, all of them will have the last two digits as 11. And similarly, 11 squared, 11 raised to power 12, 22, 32, 42, and even 122 will have the last two digits as 21. No matter what the other digits are, it's going to be a very big number, but the last two digits are going to be 21. And therefore, when the number is divided by 100, the remainder is going to be 21.